Hey all, and welcome back. It's been a while. Let's um, let's get into it, shall we? Today I'm gonna have a bit of a look at FreeBSD 13.1. Came out very recently as big hoo ha on Twitter about it. So yeah, we'll have a we'll have a play around with it, and uh, we'll see what it's like, shall we? I've used it for some time, to be honest with you. I've been using it for a few months. Because I, I track stable on my production box. And I know, I know you shouldn't be tracking stable on a production box, but I do. So let's get into it and have a look. Literally all I've done is install FreeBSD 13.1 from the ISO. And I've installed a few desktop environments, DEs, and set up X11. So we'll have a quick look and see what's new about it, shall we? So as you'll see on my desktop, I've literally change the desktop background and that's about it and installed firefox i haven't installed much else but we will as we're here so let's bring up the settings and go down to about this system and you'll see this is running on bare metal using the x11 platform and there's my graphics card there's my CPU. Oh, it's a 7700. I thought it was a 7700K. It's not. It's just a 7700. And there's 16 gig of memory in this machine. And there's all my devices. No point getting into that. So this is KDE5 Plasma. Probably my favorite DE at the moment. It's, um, to me, it's a lot better than the alternatives. Not really a GNOME user. Don't like GNOME. I think I've said that before. Oh, these, uh, these go back. What a journey it's been, eh? What we're we playing at. 4K plays nice and flawlessly. Lovely jubbly. And we've literally got nothing else there. I mean, we've got all the stuff that comes with KDE. And in all honesty, that's a lot. So there you go. 13.1. Oh, yeah. I don't know why that icon has changed. Should have been the Firefox icon. Little flaw there. I don't know why it's doing that. So if any of you guys have been following me on Twitter, and if you do, thank you. Appreciate that. You would have noticed that um, I wasn't supposed to be around this week. Didn't happen. Long story short, I was supposed to have gone in for exploratory surgery on a uh, hernia repair that seems to have gone a little bit wrong. Got cancelled. I'll update if and when anything happens about that. But for now, I'm here. So, let's get these two entries put into... My FS tab might already have one. Nope, don't have either. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. There they are. Nice. Might actually try this software at some point. Haven't tried it yet. Robo Noogie keeps um, saying that. I'd find it nice and easy to use, and I believe him. I think I probably would. But it's doing that whole learning thing. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> should get these two bits installed. I should have done this before starting this video, but, you know, shouldn't take long. There we go. Uh, what else do we use? Gimp. Get Gimp on there. This is not going to be a full review. It's just a first look. And uh, I've got to be honest, so far it feels really snappy. Really snappy, which is really good. So let's check it out. There's your graphics, there's GIMP. 
Firefox, Thunderbird, Caden Live, Audacity. Let's um, open one up, see what it looks like. Three one three. I know that's the latest. Yeah, I changed it to the latest. And I know, I know I shouldn't have changed this file before you guys jump into the comments and tell me that I should have created one in user local ETC package repos. Yes, I should have done. But this box will be destroyed later anyway, so it doesn't matter anyway. So yeah, it's all looking good. Oh, I know what I want to install. Let's find it first. There we go. That's what we want to install. Not bad speed. So cool. So yeah, it's um, looking good. I've got to be honest. Feels very, very snappy. Let's uh, yeah. Let's face it. FreeBSD uses its own updating system. So yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm pretty happy with FreeBSD thirteen one. Like I said, I've been running it on my production machine. My my um server that's off site for quite some time um ever since stable moved over to 13.1 hopefully you've enjoyed this little look at freebsd 13.1 let me know what you think of it down in the comments because i'll be quite interested to see how you guys are, are getting on with it and uh let me know of your your update stories from 13.0 that'd be quite interesting to read um if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up and uh if you feel like you want to, why not subscribe to the channel? Don't have to. It'd be nice if you do. Try and get me up to a thousand subscribers. That would be fantastic. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's free, of course, and you don't have to do it. But if you do, it lets you know when, um, when I release new videos just by clicking on the bell notification and making sure you tick all notifications. And for now, that'll do it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Take care.